More than 1,000 white sturgeon found a new home today. Washington State fish biologists tagged, measured, and then finally released them into Lake Roosevelt. The white sturgeon population there was at risk of extinction with just a few thousand fish at the beginning of the century. The state has been working to bring it back from the brink ever since. Hawk Hammer was there for the process. He gives us an up close and personal look at these prehistoric fish. Out here in Kettle Falls at the Sherman Creek Fish Hatchery, it's all run by the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. The main fish they do out here is a rainbow trout, which is an awesome fish. But the really cool fish they do here, and wait until you see it, white sturgeon. Face to face with these fish, you can really tell there's an absolute look of timelessness to them. I mean, they're they're really sort of living relics. These are year olds, a handful now getting measured, weighed, and tagged. They want to be able to keep track of them after they're released. Now we're checking each individual fish as it comes out of the tank. Mind those scoots, though, right there along their back. Well, they're quite sharp, and so you got, you got to be kind of careful handling them. These aren't your typical hatchery fish. We collect these wild larvae uh, out of Lake Roosevelt, out of the Columbia River bring them back to the hatchery and rear them here. And as they age, they're going to grow and grow and continue to grow. They achieve a very large size. They're very long-lived fish, some living upwards of 100 years. And these guys, there's a lot riding on them. Our goal here is to restore the sturgeon population in Lake Roosevelt. Without them, he says that population was on its way towards extinction. For the last 40 years or so, very few young ones in Lake Roosevelt, if any, were surviving. So we are missing um, young sturgeon in the population. Genetic diversity dropped because in the 2000s, it was estimated there were only a few thousand fish left. Why the decline? Nobody knows. Could it be dams, habitat loss, toxicity? They're working hard to find the answer. This was just a stopgap measure uh, to prevent the population from winking out. Thus far, he says, it's proved successful. Young fish are surviving, filling the age gaps in the population and bringing back that genetic diversity. 314. Time will tell what all happens. These fish take a long time to grow and then breed. Meantime, you can tell it's a very hands-on, time-intensive, wet effort. I'm Hawkhammer, 4 News Now.